Okay, okay. We have a treat for you today. I'm making my first salt bar. These are this is my oils mixed with a little cream and the scents in it, and it smells like awesome. And I got my lye over here, and I have to strain that. So I'm gonna put the phone down for a second. That's the lie going in. Excuse the silence, I might be a little quiet. <laughs> okay, I got it in there. We're just going to stir it a little bit to get it emulsified, or to get mixed. It's going to emulsify once I turn the blender on. This is going to be pretty quick. That's all the salt that's going in there. It's 75%. So I put 75% of what my oils are. And I've got approximately, I think, 36 ounces of oil. So. Let's see what color this is. It looks actually, it was a light green. Of course, it's showing yellow in the camera, but it's more of an off, like ivory white. And that is thickening up pretty quick. salt bars I heard once you put the salt in it starts moving pretty quickly I have to put it in the molds and then I have to do my first cut a couple hours from now and that's already getting pretty thick I want to get it to light trace and then I'll add the salt. back when I get it to trace. It's not quite there yet, but it will be. Okay, I've added my color to it, and it did get, it's a little closer. Not quite, but I don't want to go too much further because it's going to be kind of hard to pour it into the, I need one little heart there. And then I'll pour it into the rest of the batch over here, hopefully, and uh, let's see what happens. salt in there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to stir. <laughs> really thick. But this is the salt bar. I'm going to continue stirring, pour it into the mold, and then I'll be back. Okay, I got them in the molds. That's my big loaf mold smaller ones and then the rest are hearts so we'll see how they come out I'll let you know when I get them cut 